The theatrical phrase, bringing the house down, received new meaning on Wednesday nights when part of the Piccadilly Theatre's ceiling collapsed during a show. Emergency services were called and the audience evacuated after the ceiling crashed into the auditorium 20 minutes into a performance of Death of a Salesman. Two days on, I spoke to Jamil Khan, the on-shift manager at the neighbouring Queen's Head pub on the night of the incident. Oh, so I was next door. Um, literally just heard people running out the front. I had no idea what the incident was. I thought like maybe there was a fire downstairs. So went down to check. Like the people downstairs, they were absolutely amazing. Like getting everyone their, out of their building is first priority. It wasn't until I talked to some of the actual customers next door that they were saying that some of the roof had actually caved in. Three men and two women were treated at the scene for minor injuries, but the vast majority of the 1,100 strong audience were evacuated before the emergency services arrived. I think there was a bit of confusion in the air at first. Um, like, you know, your first instinct when you see a bunch of people running is probably thinking yeah. they were, so it's a bit of a relief that it was just that no one was actually hurt. Thankfully, the stretchers weren't required, and even the cast themselves assisted with the evacuation process. Wendell Pierce, the actual performer, he yeah. came out and spoke to everyone. Yeah, seems yeah. Like, he seems like a really cool guy, actually. He like, got the whole situation under control. Witnesses described hearing a dripping sound before a huge chunk of ceiling about three to four metres across crashed down, causing people to scream and rush for the exits. The theatre staff were roundly praised and were rewarded with a drink in the Queen's Head once the incident was over. Like We had a bunch of the staff come next door and just you know, have a drink to ease yeah. their nerves, which I think they needed.